Hey, what's up, YouTube? Demon Sparks here, and today I wanted to do this quick little tutorial video. Um, this will mostly be for beginner users to, um, from rooting. Uh, if you're a beginner with rooting, um, <clears throat> this is going to be a video for you to help. And specifically, this is going to be talking about titanium backup and modifying your uh, root system files. So, as many as you guys know, um, titanium backup can remove bloatware and unwanted apps and stuff that you normally can never re never remove. So, you can go into your titanium backup as seen here, uh, under backup and restore. Find the applications that you want to remove, like this one has backup assistant, contacts, uh, stuff like that. Um, since I don't really want to remove it, since it's actually a built-in feature to the ROM of the phone, I uh, will not be removing it. But you can find different things that you do want to remove and remove them. But I do want to advise you guys um, to make sure you know what you are removing. Like these different things that say no backup, uh, com LGE, uh, LGDRM, permissions, lock screen. Don't remove any of that stuff because those are system files. They're not application files that's going to hinder your phone's performance. Uh, different things something like CPU tuner that you can remove you can just hit uninstall I'm not sure if I have anything actually on this device that I do want to remove um, so I'm scrolling through there's quite a lot of different system applications and files and such but most of these ones that are red you do not want to remove those the green ones and such is stuff that you typically can remove, but I would be worry if you should, if you don't know what they are. Like my Verizon Mobile was a oops, was a, a stock system file that does like account management and such, which you technically can remove it if you're not using it or you don't need to use it. But some phones may not function properly if you remove certain different parts of the uh, ROMs files. Like this one, Real Racing 2, which is, I can't even find on this device anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and uninstall it. And there's no backup for it, and I don't really care. This will remove the system app, Real Racing 2.apk. See, it's a system application file, so it's like a game file. And Titanium Backup just told me uninstall is complete. So there's different things like that you can do. Um, I would highly suggest making a backup first. Um, if you guys want to know how to make a backup and want the uh, little step-to-step -step guide tutorial on how to do that, I will make a separate video on showing how to do that as well. Um, I just never bother because I'm more of an advanced Android user. Um, so I just typically know what to and what not to remove. What these are, the uh, payload impactors were from my original root. So I don't know if those files are still active on here or not, but that's what those are from. But that's just general gist of um, using, using Titanium Backup for uh, root beginners if you're still learning into Android modding and such. So I hope that little tutorial tips will help you guys and make sure to always make a backup. And if you have questionable files um, you want to remove off your phone besides the stock bloatware, um, it is camera kept going out of focus and is getting eye reading, but yeah, if you guys have um, different applications that are besides your bloatware apps that you want to remove that normally come stock installed, um, I would research it or you can leave a comment and I'll see if I can um, assist you with it with uh, whether or not you should or should not remove it or should or should not even make a backup before attempting to remove it. So I hope again this video helps some of you guys. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe for more. And I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.